okay so it's before the main verb of the verb to be right let's see the example here she's always late for work is always is always because is is verb to be so that's why we put always after it it's before the main verb after verb to be huh they are often hungry are often are often are verb to be after verb to be okay let's uh, look at the example up here she always plays why because plays is the main verb so it comes before it before the main verb after verb to be she always plays tennis in the morning they usually have lunch at work usually have have here is the main verb that's why we uh, added you usually before the main verb okay as we have in the bubble here before the main verb after verb to be now If I have the negative form in the sentence, what, where should I put the adverb of frequency? As we all know, it's before the main verb, right? Where is the main verb in the example here? They don't often go to the cinema. Huh? Go. Where is the main verb? Go. How about don't? It's, an, it's a helping verb, right? So we care about the main verb, which is go it's before the main verb so i'll put it or i'll add it before the main verb which is go so i'll put often before the main verb ha huh. she doesn't usually wait where is the main verb it's wait so where should i add the usually or any adverb of frequency before the main verb exactly ha huh. now we have here let's look at this slide we have here hardly ever never seldom and rarely right all of these words give the negative sense in the sentence so we don't need any any other negative uh, words or helping negative helping verbs next to the main verb okay so when i have never seldom rarely hardly ever i should never add don't or doesn't because they already mean not they, or they already mean not okay now like never seldom rarely and other adverse of frequency with a negative sense are not usually used in the negative form like he never smokes I can never say he doesn't never smoke. What does it mean either to say he never smokes, which a never here lies before the main verb, yes, or he doesn't smoke. He doesn't smoke. Now let's look at the percentage. Always I always do something, so I do it every day, which me which means that it's all in green, hundred percent in green, hundred percent done every day. Usually seventy or seventy five percent. So I'm doing the thing five times a week, not every day. Okay, often fifty percent. So I'm I'm doing this thing three times or two times a week. Sometimes it's 10 uh sorry it's 30 percent 30 percent so i'm doing the thing either two times or one time a week rarely it's 10 percent so i'm doing the thing one time in the whole month one time in the whole month once a month never i never do it so it doesn't have anything in green now once means one time twice means two times three times means three times as you can see four times and five times let's answer these questions together i ride my bike twice a week so what do you think let's do that huh twice a week so let's try no. it's not sometimes okay let's try often Correct. exactly huh i walk my dog every day is it usually let's try usually no okay then Correct. it is always excellent 
I played the saxophone five times. Ha, huh? five times. Yes, excellent. It's usually, but I cannot find the. Yes, it's here. Correct. I go to the cinema once a month. Once a month. Is it sometimes? Oh. Hmm. Okay, which one is it then? Correct. Exactly. Really? I don't drink alcohol, so I never drink Correct. alcohol. I play basketball once a week. Huh? So I sometimes... Correct play basketball now rewrite each sentence using the adverb of frequency let's see the example here i play tennis on sundays so i have often in brackets let's first underline the verb where is the verb it's play is it the main verb or a helping verb exactly it's a main verb so since we have a main verb, it's before the main verb, before the main verb, right? So I often play tennis on Sundays. Let's look at number one. We are in contact with my sister. Often, huh? Where is the verb? Exactly, it's ah. Is it a main verb or verb to be? Who knows? Yes, excellent. It's a verb to be. So what should we add here? Before the main verb, after verb to be. So we are often in contact with my sister. Right? Excellent. Peter doesn't get up before 7, huh? Peter doesn't get, get up. What is the verb? Exactly. I have two verbs here. One helping and the other one is main. Where is the helping verb? It's doesn't. Where is the main verb? It's get up. So or get so we're going to choose the main verb because we don't have any verbs or um, verb to be so that's why we're going to choose the main verb and put it before the main verb so peter doesn't usually get up before seven i met him before so never how huh, what is the verb it's met excellent huh is it main or verb to be it is main, so it's before the main verb. So I never met him before. John watches TV seldom. So where is the verb? It's watches. Watch here. Is it a main verb or verb to be? Exactly, it's a verb. Uh, it's a main verb. So where should I add it before the main verb? So John seldom watches TV. The weather is bad in November. Always, huh? Where is the verb? It is. Is. Excellent. Is it verb to be or a main verb? Exactly. It is verb to be. So it, it's after verb to be. So the weather is always bad in November. Now let's look at your homework. Here, what about you? How often do you do these things? How often do you tell lies? How often do you eat fish? How often do, do you watch television? And so on. You have to answer these questions in a piece of paper and bring it with you next time. Thank you. I hope you've enjoyed the lesson. Bye.